Senator Coyle. Would the government representative in the Senate take a question? <laughs> With Thank pleasure, you. I should have said. Thank you, Senator. You. <laughs> Hard to beat towards the end here. Last week, at the Summit of the Americas, Canada endorsed the Los Angeles Declaration on Migration and Protection. This declaration commits us to promote regular pathways for migration and international protection, humane migration management, coordinate responses to mass migration movements, and have a shared approach to reduce, mitigate, and manage irregular migration. This declaration also includes a Canadian promise to welcome an additional 4,000 migrants from the region by 2028, as well as a pre-existing plan to bring in 50,000 more agricultural workers from Mexico, Guatemala, and the Caribbean. Senator Gould, we know that most people migrate for economic security and family reasons. Could you tell us specifically how the announced $118 million for initiatives aimed at providing support to people in their own communities, in their own countries, so they don't feel compelled to leave, is expected to actually achieve that goal. Senator Gold. Uh, th thank you for the question, Senator. Um, uh, I do not have an answer uh, at this time. Um, it's complicated how pe why people choose to leave their home countries, and I don't have the details of those initiatives, much less uh, the specific answer, but I'll make inquiries with the government and report back in a timely fashion. Senator Coyle, supplementary. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and, and thank you, Senator Gold. I look forward to, uh, to that response because it's very important if we're making an investment for a particular reason, which is to help people stay where they are, to know that the investment is actually going to be an appropriate one to achieve that end. My supplementary question is for the 50,000 agricultural workers from the region that Canada plans to welcome, could you tell us about any planned pathways which would allow them to apply for permanent residency if they so choose? Senator Gold. Uh, uh, Senator, thank you for the question. I'm going to have to add that to the inquiries that I'll make and report back as soon as I can. 